Hi everyone, I'm Ernie Hall, Just the Cook, and on my day off I like to play around with breakfast. Today, I've promised my daughter pancakes. They're her favorite. You're going to love them too. Grab a cup of coffee, let's go. Okay, so the ingredients are actually quite simple. There's one cup of flour, one cup of milk, two teaspoons of baking powder, about a half a teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of sugar, three tablespoons of butter, and one whisk up egg. Okay, so when you're making pancakes, always remember to add the dry ingredients first and have fun with it. Okay, so if you're new to making pancakes or to baking in general, when you open the lid of the baking powder, there's a little edge right here. And that edge is gonna help you just reach in, scoop it, drag it across the top. Look at there, perfect. Alrighty then, the first thing we're gonna add is the flour. Remember, we're gonna keep all the dry ingredients together first. So there's one cup of flour, here's two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, there we go, and three tablespoons of sugar. Kind of doesn't really want to come out of there right now. There we go. What I'm going to do is take a fork and I'm going to whisk it all together. Okay, so you really do want to mix this up really well because the last thing you want is someone biting into a pancake and all they taste is a clump of salt. Cut. Okay, so here I have three tablespoons of melted butter and here I've got that whisked up egg. So how do we keep this from turning into scrambled eggs? We know that butter's hot. Okay, so what I'm going to do is simply put the one cup of milk into this container. And now I'm going to put the warm butter in with the milk. And I'm going to give that a toss. Okay, so now the temperature of the butter has changed because it went into the cold milk. So now it is safe to add the eggs. And same. And now we're simply going to add the wet mixture to the dry. Now some people say stop right there and because they like the clumps or something. Um, I don't know. I don't like it that way. I like to stir it up. Now you might think at first, Ernie, that's too soupy. It's okay. That baking powder's gonna do its job. Now you could go right ahead and start making pancakes with this. Or you can let it sit for a couple minutes because the baking powder is going to help it rise. I'm melting. Okay, so I've melted about a tablespoon of butter into a nonstick pan. And I'm just going to pour in the amount of pancake batter that I like for Johnny's pancake. I realized that top view made it look like it was a mountain, but it is not. <laughs> So what you're looking for now are the little bubbles that will appear at the top of the pancake. But we're a minute from that. So one of the biggest questions that I receive about cooking pancakes is how do you know when to flip them? So we are looking for those bubbles that will start appearing. But we want more than just the ones and the two. Don't feel like you've done something wrong if you're simply taking a look underneath. Clearly that's still way too light. Okay, so now we have bubbles that are breaking through the surface. Watch this. Perfect. And what I also like to do is when I do flip the pancake, I go ahead and just turn the oven on. Turn off that eye. Because sometimes we get distracted, go get a cup of coffee, come back, uh, burned it. Okay, and so there we are. We have a beautiful pancake. So what I like to do, because Gianna's not going to sit there and whoop that pancake down, She's gonna take her time, play a video game, watch some TV. So I like to cut it into cubes for her. And then, to help keep it warm, put it in a bowl. The shape of the bowl is simply gonna help the pancake stay warmer longer. And there we have it, pancakes in a bowl. Can't beat that. I'm Ernie Hall, you're watching Just the Cook. 
thank you for taking your time to watch our video. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up, click the subscribe button down below, check out some of our other videos. Let's see here, look at that. Look how fluffy. Tremendous butter flavor, nice and airy. Love that to death. I guess I'm supposed to go wake up Gianna now. <laughs>